This is the prolific teaching ministry of Apostle Tuluagola, the lead pastor of His Worship Christian Network. Brace yourself for an experience of enlightenment, education, and transformation as you engage with this episode. The younger ministers trying to build preaching partnerships with more senior ministers. Please be led by the Spirit of God. The altar is not a ground for brotherhood. It is the whole mean the there's a new movie called um abido shaker how many of you have seen the movie okay i've not seen it eh? you have seen it now there was something in that movie or there's something in that movie i want to bring because i was inquisitive and the reason for my being inquisitive is that the guy who acted the film is a friend of the abido shaker man are you with me so if he's coming to produce a, a movie called Abido Shaker, a movie that looks like prophet suddenly, I'm asking the question, is he trying to say something or is just acting a movie? May God give you understanding. The spirit that powered that ministry in Abido Shaker made a statement when she was telling the pastor, go and heal these people even though everybody with everybody you heal two years out of your life is lost and that's the contract so the girl can say when she got angry can say go and heal those eight blind men it means it's one miracle but it's minus 16 years <laughs> the young man said i can't i want to build my church she said there is no church building in your ministry because i am the ministry that's what a believer should understand the holy ghost is the ministry if you take him out you are just an orator are you with me the apostle said not that we are sufficient in ourselves to do these things our sufficiency is of god it means if you cut off god we are no longer sufficient we will need to subject ourselves to drama and theatrics to do ministry somebody with me now so the holy ghost is the ministry so we don't use platforms to build relationships to say okay i want to be close to that man of god sir can you come to be to, can you come and preach your invitations are supposed to be as by the spirit i have two young friends both of them are younger than me and two of them at different times doing very well in the nation called me and said sir um we're open to partnership so what do you mean if you want us to come and help your ministry uh, there are things that we there's a way the minister that can help the ministry and i said because of what you said i'll not invite you i'm not a concerned about ministry to be trying to look for human help outside the instruction of the holy ghost if he has put my help in you, you will order it. But I'm not going to think because when you throw your hand like this, everybody falls down. That I can bring you to Bomoshaw to come and throw hands and the church will now grow. No, no, no. I'm not afraid of preaching to two members. If he gives me 100,000, I'm good. It means he has to give the facility for it. Are you with me? But I don't think that's what adds value to my life. Sorry. So, we must be careful let me bring in something else many young ministers have relationships with older ministers that are just pulpit based minister um, pulpit based relationships they are not relationships that communicate wisdom that communicate learning they are not wisdoms that can give room for chastening I think that the privilege around the senior minister is that you learn from them you are imparted by them you are gifted wisdom by them and if God now instructs that they come to minister for you is fine you can invite a senior minister because the Lord says invite him and then after the ministration there may be no relationship with the person other than he came to preach for us god controls this stage the believer is also controlled by the spirit so our relationships must be forged by the spirit remember when i spoke about fatherhood and parenting a spiritual man is not always spiritual 
may you not meet a man who is not sent to you and because you brought him to you started relating because he will come and minister and every and it becomes big you now corrupt what god has gracious is in my post has graciously put under uh, put you into so we need to be careful we don't do invitations so that we can grow ministry when the first day i met apostle Aroma in his house on the 30th of december 2016 well i didn't know why god told me to go to him so he saw me he acknowledged me as his son that god said so so kind of people will come and one of the last questions he asked me before i walked out was you are not even inviting me i said no sir he said why i said god did not say so and he said to me go back to bomosho and be praying when the time is right i will come every meeting that apostle Arome has come for here he discussed the meetings i have not invited him once bro we, we need to show up in your side though. okay papa when that's how i thought that's how it has always been no invitations baba is coming back on monday baba said i'm I, I need to come there are things i need to do be part of this your prayer labor so baba is actually coming to be part of our 20 day prayer meeting are you with me okay so how long this long um um let's do monday morning and that's why it's monday morning am i saying i don't invite people to minister no i do we brought apostle michael Rocco here we brought reverend kesena my wife has brought mama and her sisters um who else reverend austin has been here if you see reverend austin today he will tell you that many times he's the one that says we need to come and yes sir and then the meeting is fixed I rarely go out of my way you find out let me I'm, I'm trying to close that talk now you find out that if I come from a journey I don't go home to sleep I still told them when we're coming build your home and then you build the field are you with me so if I am around I do my work so I came back on Sunday afternoon preach on Sunday evening led prayers on monday evening right did i monday evening yes now let prayers on monday evening let prayers on tuesday morning ministered yesterday evening let prayers this morning and i'm ministering again this evening this my pastors can minister but my work is my work I understand the call to labor to grow your work. I have watched Bishop David Oedepo and I've seen Papa's dedication to his work. Even when Mama was sick, he was working. That's what our fathers do. They are workers. Sometimes they fly in to preach and fly out again to go and minister. I've seen the Apostle Aramio side do a lot of work. Just came back from the US, came into the Easter um conference with um, dominion city moved out of there moved into the rcn seven days of teaching we was doing teaching in the afternoon we were doing all night prayers and after he still had a conference before he left lagos two three days ago two days work so all these things that many young ministers do they don't do their work especially ministry startups i don't know why we don't have a lot of questions on ministry startups apart from that how do i do my logo and the holy ghost will tell you that logo thing i mean the real work you have an anointing you have you have a fragrance for ministry and when you start ministry it is your job to bring your people into the shape of your fragrance the way to do it is to work this is the prolific teaching ministry of apostle Tuluagola, the lead pastor of his worship christian network Raise yourself an experience of enlightenment, education, and transformation as you engage with this episode.